Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 53rd installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. We're going to be taking a look at some regular What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos today and not some subscriber submissions. But if you would like to see me do more subscriber submissions, leave a comment below. What sort of blood sugar spike inducing stuff will we see today? Ice cream? Cookies? Pies? Before we continue, please click like and subscribe so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a fat girl, part 79. All right, I believe we've seen this person before, although I think their makeup is a little bit different in this particular video. Mm-hmm, I recognize that face with that tongue sticking out, I know you. We're going to Dave's Hot Chicken. Oh my goodness, is this a Texas thing? Is it just always going down in Texas or what? Like all these, all these what I eat in a day videos are always going down in Texas, man. What the heck? I know you guys have some crazy good restaurants over there, but dang. Dave's Hot Chicken and their logo is this rubber chicken. I like it. That's some good branding. Whoa, whoa, let me take a look at that receipt. Yes, I pronounced the P in receipt. All right, so you spent 20 bucks. Let's see, you got a number three for $14.98. You got some different stuff on it, some fries, some extra cheese for $3.49, which comes to $18.47. And then with tax at $1.52, your total comes out to $19.99. Each passing day, eating out gets more and more expensive, man. Although so does everything else, right? Everything's going off the rails right now. A slider with tender cheese fries? Oh, there's some cheese sort of sauce on those fries. Ugh, this is egregious. Did they call it tender cheese fries? Tender cheese fries? Mmm, yum. That's weird. That's a weird way to describe fries. Tender? The hell? Yeah, how bizarre. Mac and cheese. Okay, so we got some more cheesy carbs. Cheese fries are good, she says. It's hard to read her comment because part of it goes into the white, but I think it says, Also, I get a lot of comments asking why I eat so late. I wake up late, I work and stream overnight. Okay, so you work a late shift. Was that the slider or is that like a chicken sandwich? We're calling this a slider? This looks like a chicken sandwich to me. By the way, why are they always breading the chicken and then putting it between two pieces of bread? This is too much. So I eat late as frick sometimes. Superior. Yeah, see, we've seen this person before. <laughs> you don't forget something like that when people just start calling their food like elite and superior. Pink lemonade. What's the deal with pink lemonade anyway? Why is it pink and why does it taste like that? Leftovers, 9 p.m. Dude, what? This chicken looks like a centaur's leg, dude. What is happening? If you look at the top of this, like up here, this looks like an eye. This looks like one of those baby pinky mice that's been breaded and fried, and this is his little eye right here. Although it also looks like it could be a deep fried seahorse. <laughs> Look at it, look at it. We've all thought about it, but you can't just bread and deep fry and eat a seahorse, dude, okay? We've all thought about it. That doesn't mean you do it. Dang, have some dignity. Dip, dip. <laughs> You're dipping his tail. How dare you eat me? Why would a seahorse Winnie? I've been watching too much SpongeBob, man. All right, hold on. At the top it says, I forgot to do my intro in the beginning. Lol. Okay. All right, so now you're just eating a chicken tender. Okay, um, I'm going to consider this different than that chicken slider we saw earlier. 
bread wasn't good after. You put that on a plain piece of white bread? Dude, it's already breaded. You put hot sauce on it and put it on a piece of plain white bread. Doing a drinking stream tonight. Join me. Oh man, that's always a bad idea. Okay, bye girl pops. All right, bye girl pop. Let's take a look at this and add it up. Well, this is a nice simple one, huh? All right, so you started the day off and ended the day with Dave's Hot Chicken, whose logo is a rubber chicken. I like that a lot. Um, that's very cute. So do they give you a rubber chicken when you go there and it's got their logo on it or something? That would be cool. But I digress. Okay, so you started the day off with a slider, cheese fries, and mac and cheese. That was crazy, okay? And we had some breaded, deep-fried chicken that was placed inside of a bun for some reason. And whatever various kind of wacky sauces were on there. Those cheese fries were a very pale color. And um, I don't know why it said that they were tender. If there's one thing that I don't necessarily need my fries to be... It's tender, okay? Maybe my steak. I could use a tender steak, a juicy steak. What if it said tender, juicy fries? <laughs> and you're like, what? Why are they tender and juicy, man? What the heck? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, um, so that was just a bunch of garbage fast food. And then you had some pink lemonade and another chicken tender from the same place. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. There was no fruit, there was no veg, the only food that you ate was fast food. Hence the low score. Next. All right, now here's this person that we've covered a couple times. She's on a weight loss journey, but she's doing it with nothing but fast food, proving that calories in, calories out is the only thing that matters to weight loss, but not proving that you can still be healthy inside eating nothing but fast food. You may lose weight, but you're malnourished. I'm like a broken record, huh? You're like, dude, shut up. I heard you the first time. Don't eat the fast food. Gotcha. Let me reiterate. <laughs> I'm spilling coffee on myself. I'm so passionate about this topic that I won't even swallow the coffee that I just put in my mouth. I'll just let it dribble down my face because the passion and stuff. You ever do that? You ever like just say that you're passionate when people call you out on your ridiculous outbursts? That's what I do. If you call me out, you're like, dude, what the hell? You got really crazy back there. I'd be like, what? I'm passionate, bro. Like, what do you want? I'm, I'm a very passionate man, okay? So you might see crazy outbursts and, and loudness and all sorts of wacky stuff. Um, it's just my passion. Um, it's just my passion. So calm down. What I eat in a day is a fat day 18 of 365 okay so you're gonna do this for 365 days i'm a fat person who's actively losing weight and this is what i eat breakfast two sausage cheese biscuits 550 each oh get this fast food out of here i swear i'm sending you a cooking set tomorrow dude you accomplish that for breakfast i have had two sausage and cheese biscuits Two entire. Two hash browns. Oh my goodness. I can feel the grease from that hash brown coming out of my pores when I sweat later in the day. Back when I used to eat that garbage, dude. Literally, I'm thinking of it now. Just looking at those hash browns reminds me of the feeling I used to get after I ate them. Give it 30 minutes, an hour, however much longer. Um, you start sweating and you can feel that grease like on your forehead. You're like, that's... That's hash brown. You're like, mmm, yeah, that's that's hash brown from earlier. That's disgusting. I swear when I eat fast food, I can feel it coming out of my pores and smell it coming out of my pores later. In fact, I know I can smell it because I've smelled it on other people. I used to know this dude at a job that I used to work at who had really bad B.O. Straight up smelled like onions and fast food burgers all the time. And it's because he ate fast food all the time. He wasn't overweight or anything. He was a skinnier guy, but um, he stunk really bad from eating that garbage food all the time. Hash browns, and I washed it down with a delicious large Coke. For dinner, I tried out this ju just egg, fake eggs made from plants. All right, so what'd you guys do? You threw a bunch of plants and crap in a blender probably with some hydrogenated oil and a bunch of other carcinogenic stuff to create some plant-based eggs. That's funny how they're always trying to make plant-based versions of meat stuff. I'm gonna start doing the opposite and make meat versions of plant food. We'll make you a salad, 
but instead of lettuce, it'll have bacon, okay? Um, instead of shredded cabbage, we'll have shredded cheese. Instead of sliced cucumbers, we'll have slices of sausage on there. The old meat salad. Now introducing eggs, made from everything but eggs, to like put all these chemicals and wacky stuff together to try to come up with a fake egg. When there's a chicken over there, just crapping them out left and right, uh, and they're not even gonna do anything with them. They're just sitting on the ground, going to waste. This thing craps out an egg or two every single day for literally no reason other than for us to eat them. Oh, uh, let's go make a fake egg. Best vegan egg? Um, I loaded it with cheese, pepper, and sh but it did not help. <laughs> This look on your face, yes. This is fake eggs encapsulated in one look. So ma'am, you've just tried our fake egg product. What do you think? Huh. Okay, can you elaborate any more? Okay, so you love them? Is, is, that, what the, is that what you're saying right there? Uh, I'll take that face to mean I love these, right? Let's take a look again. Okay, yeah, so these are delicious and you very much love them, gotcha. Okay, this is random, but I have a song stuck in my head, and maybe you guys can help me figure out what it is, because Google is not. Um, I think it's by Destiny's Child. It goes something like... Some crap like that. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if you know this song, dude, it's a song that we all have heard a million times. It's just, I just, I can't remember it, and I need to hear it now. Uh, <laughs> um, I also had a... A Major Melon. Is that a Mountain Dew? Major Melon's pretty good. Have you had, um, Commander Grape? Sergeant Orange? Have you had that one? That's pretty good. Single Grape and a Major Melon, that's it, thank Okay, your TDE is 2.5K, calories eaten less than 2K, deficit 500 plus... All right, let's take a look at this and add it up. You started the day off with two sausage cheese biscuits and two hash browns from a fast food establishment. I do not recommend any of that, as we all know. And you washed it down with a large Coke. A large Coke. Why did I, why do I keep saying core and large? <laughs> I'm not from New York, man. Some coffee. All right, sorry. Um, the only appropriate thing to wash down processed carbs and garbage is a blood sugar spike in the form of a large soda. So that's what we had to accompany the other food. Then later on, we decided to take part in some bizarre experiment and eat what they're calling eggs that came in some pourable carton that are made from plants. Then later on, you had a major melon, which is some kind of soda. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a two out of 10. There was literally no fruit or veg or home-cooked meals at all. I'm sending you a cooking set. It's cheaper to cook at home and it's not hard and you will actually get nutrition if you do. There was no nutrition in any of that fast food. So like I've said a thousand times, you may lose weight, but you're gonna be extremely malnourished. It's gonna be harder to lose weight eating that kind of food because first of all, that kind of food makes you extra hungry because it's designed to do so and it doesn't actually nourish your body or provide you with any sustenance, so you're left still hungry after you eat it. So it's actually harder to lose weight doing that. It's easier to lose weight eating whole foods that fill you up and satiate you. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person who wants to stay fat and usually eats around 10,000 calories a day. 10,000 calories? Uh... <laughs> who eats 10,000 calories a day, huh? Ah, so you're being hyperbolic. Don't you love it when they get all sarcastic? They're like, what I eat in a day is a fatty who glorifies obesity and eats a billion calories a day and blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, calm down, okay? If I'm overweight, surely I must be eating 10,000 calories a day. You're really sticking it to the haters with that description. Mm, okay. I like when they slowly, awkwardly approach the camera in the beginning of these videos. A bowl of Cheerios in a heart bowl. Normally I would say that that's garbage, but it is in a heart bowl, so you get an extra point for that. A plain hot dog. That is plain. Like, you're not going to put mustard on there, or like some onions, or some of that red onion sauce that they have at like Sabrett's and Nathan's, no? No, we're just a plain old hot dog that looks like it was boiled. Ugh. Man, if we're gonna eat a dang hot dog, 
let's eat a dang hot dog. Let's put some onions on there, some mustard, that red onion sauce that you get from Nathan's or Sabret's. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Red onion sauce plus some mustard. Boom. Don't eat hot dogs, folks. But if you do occasionally indulge in a dog, load that sucker up, man. Yeah, I could have represented a few food groups on that hot dog, right? I could have slathered that thing in all kinds of different stuff. Who eats a plain hot dog, you absolute psycho? A root beer float. Oh, from A&W. Oh, dude, I was talking about this the other day. A&W, the place that makes root beer, also has some fast food joints at a couple places throughout the US. It's pretty interesting. You can go in there and buy a gallon of A&W root beer and they sell like burgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. Pretty interesting. Is root beer one word? Oh well, it is now. A few cheese curds. Oh, I was gonna say cheese turds, but um, okay. I don't know what this is. This must be a thing where you're from, I don't know. What is that? This is like deep fried cheese. Did they bread some cheese and then fry it? Clearly, whatever it is has been fried. Sun chips. Oh man, I used to love those. And yogurt drink. One taco and some mac and cheese. All right, let's see. I think I see some green stuff in that taco. Is that some avocado in there? Personally, I love burritos and tacos. When I say taco, I don't mean a crunchy one. I mean like the traditional one that's actually just a soft corn tortilla. Dude, I love tacos and burritos. I could eat them every single day. A good pro tip if you have like leftover meat or you have not enough meat for today's dinner, um, cut up some peppers and onions and saute them in olive oil or butter and then that'll stretch out your meat and you can make it into burritos. That taco looks a lot like a burrito, dude. And that's the end of that one. Let's take a look at this and add it up. All right, you started the day off with a bowl of Cheerios in a heart bowl. Where does everybody keep finding these heart bowls is what I would like to know. A carby start to the day that's gonna set us up for failure, my friends. And then later on, you had a plain hot dog, just straight up boiled hot dog on the most basic bun, um, no kind of condiments or anything. It was kind of weird. Um, and then later on, you had a root beer float. Then you had some cheese curds, which I've never seen before, but they appear to be deep fried cheese of some sort. Perhaps it was breaded. After that, you had some sun chips and a yogurt drink. And then for presumably dinner, you had one taco and some mac and cheese. All right, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a two out of 10. Two is all across the board today. Are you shocked? Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, you're clearly wrong, but let me know why. Why do you disagree in the comments below? At least that taco was homemade. Please click like and subscribe. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.